Hey guys, welcome to Prank Team Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a pelvic floor stretch and release. This is a follow-up video to the recent video that I did on a tight pelvic floor or hypertonic pelvic floor. So it is great for a tight pelvic floor. However, especially during pregnancy and postpartum, this is great for pelvic health in general. If you're pregnant, it's also helpful to do towards the end of pregnancy to release and open and prepare your pelvic floor to move aside to let baby out. You don't need any special equipment for this stretch and release. However, a couple of household items might be helpful. I'm going to use a tennis ball. If you have a physio ball, you could use a physio ball, or you could take a pair of rolled up socks, or you could also use a water bottle. I'm going to use a bolster. You could also grab a couple of pillows. And for modification, you could grab a chair if you wanted to do the modification. Of course, if you're experiencing any pain or pelvic floor dysfunction, I highly recommend going to see a pelvic floor physiotherapist. They're very helpful. They can also do an internal release and work their magic. I will keep making pregnancy and postpartum workouts, yoga, and Pilates every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. The first pose that we're gonna move into is a full yogi squat, which is going to release and lengthen our pelvic floor. I'm gonna move this aside for now. You can either come to a standing position and lower down, or you can come to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, tuck your feet, and move into your yogi squat. If your heels come off, that's okay. You can place a rolled up mat or toilet paper rolls or a block underneath them, or if they can release all the way down to the ground and you can bring your elbows to your knees, pressing in, and then fully release through your pelvic floor, sitting tall. We want to imagine our body as a canister here, and our diaphragm is working with our pelvic floor. So as we inhale, our diaphragm is pulling down, and we want slight movement in our pelvic floor to move down as well. And as we exhale, it moves back up a little bit. So let's take a deep inhale and feel our pelvic floor expanding slightly. You can also reach down to your pelvic floor and feel your perineum and feel if your perineum is lengthening and expanding. If you're picturing your pelvis, you can also picture your pelvic floor as if it's flowering as you inhale and then continue to relax as you exhale and then picture it flowering out as we inhale. We can close our eyes and take a couple of intentional breaths here, focusing on releasing and relaxing through our pelvic floor. Inhale, expanding, let your belly hang. Exhale, continue to release. Making sure that you're sending your breath down and you're not lifting your shoulders as you inhale. You're not bringing your lungs up. Let's take one more breath here. Relax as much as possible. Good. Let's come to a kneeling position. You can either place your hands forward, coming down to your knees, or you can press up to a standing position. All of the muscles of our core and our pelvic floor are connected, so let's stretch through our psoas here. We can take one foot forward, releasing into a lunge. If this is sore on your knee, you can always fold up your mat underneath your knee. Let's tuck our pelvis under to get a deeper stretch through our hip flexor. You can bring your hands to your knee, or if it's comfortable for you, you can also bring your hands to the inside of your foot and release forward. So wherever you are comfortable here, finding your breath, focusing on relaxing and releasing through your pelvic floor.
releasing a little bit more. If you're down on your elbows or your hands, you can come back up again. Shift your hips back. Let's take a quick hamstring stretch. You can flex your front foot, lengthen over your leg. Repeat those stretches on the other side. Shifting into your lunge, tucking your pelvis. Feel free to stay high here or move down beside your leg. Wherever you are, relaxing your pelvic floor, finding your breath. As you inhale, feel your pelvic floor ballooning out just a little bit. your belly hang. Let's take one more breath here. Engaging your core. Let's come on up. We can shift back, flex your front foot, hinge at your hips, folding forward. Finding length in your spine. Good. Come on up. We're going to move into a diamond pose here. So if you have pillows, you may want to use your pillows for this part, but you can also just put your feet on the floor. You don't need pillows. So it's going to be similar to a butterfly, but we're gonna take our feet farther out. Let your knees fall out, sitting tall. Fully relax your pelvic floor again. Finding your breath. Also ensuring that you're not bearing down, you're not pushing down on your pelvic floor, but you're finding that point where you're almost ready to push, but you're not pushing yet, but you're fully relaxed. If it feels comfortable, you can also fold forward. We're going to stretch out through our inner thighs and our groin. If you are pregnant, then you can do this from a seated position and take a wide leg forward fold. If you're early on in your pregnancy or your postpartum, then we can do it against the wall if you have a wall available. So if you're scooting up to the wall, you can come down on your side, bringing your legs up. And then it doesn't matter how far you go, just as far as when you start to feel tension, it shouldn't feel painful and fully relax. Taking some deep breaths, relaxing through your pelvic floor again.
take her hand and you can place your hand on your belly if you're lying down, providing just a little bit of pressure. Good, on your next inhale, let's bring our legs back up. And we can either move into happy baby on our back by grabbing our toes, the outsides of our feet, or you can grab your legs. If they're in like this, that's okay. So wherever you are, or if you're sitting up, you can prop yourself up, or you can do a modification of child's pose, tucking your toes under to get a similar stretch. So wherever you are, finding your breath, Inhale, relaxing through your pelvic floor. If you're laying down, you can rock back and forth. And then we're gonna move into a figure four stretch. I'm gonna move over back onto my mat again. You can also do this sitting up or on a chair if you're in pregnancy. We can cross one foot over top of your leg, reach underneath, moving into a figure four stretch. And close your eyes, relax. Deep breaths all the way down to your pelvic floor. Beautiful, let's switch to the other side. One more breath here. Release. Let's roll over onto our side and come up to a seated position or you can still be on your chair. And let's windshield our knees back and forth. Last one here, good. From here, we're gonna do our release. So I'm going to use a ball, you could use a water bottle, or like I said, you could take um, some socks and make them up into a ball. You can also do the sitting on a chair if it's more comfortable, but you're going to find your sit bone, your ischial tuberosity, and you're gonna take the ball and place it right on the inside of your sit bone, a little bit towards your anus, and then you're going to sit down, relaxing onto it. And ideally, you wanna be able to sit with your hips even, so not hiked up to one side, and you can move it around a little bit, feel where any trigger points are, and visualize that you are just melting over the ball. Fully relax and release. Let's take a couple of breaths here. it feels good, feel free to move your hips back and forth or around into any spots that feel tense. Good, 
And if you're ready, you can slowly lift it out and we'll do the release on the other side, finding your sit bones, just placing it to the inside of your sit bones and then sitting back down. Sitting tall, trying to even out your hips. Feel free to move your pelvis around to find any trigger points. Then fully releasing, feel yourself melting over the ball. Release a little bit more. Take one more breath. Good. If you're ready, you can take the ball out. Feel free to do that a couple of times a day or you can hold it a little bit longer and then feel now if you're feeling more released and relaxed through your pelvic floor. I hope your pelvic floor is feeling relaxed and released. I would love to know what you thought of the release in the comments below. I will keep making pregnancy workouts, yoga, and Pilates every week if you like videos like these. And to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're pregnant, you can go down to the description box and grab my guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after, or my guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor. If you're postpartum, I have my guide on how I healed my four-finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link to the whole video on how to know if you have tight pelvic floor or hypertonic pelvic floor and the whole playlist right there.